In this video, we have demonstrated the step-by-step -step process to import PST to Office 365 with the drive shipping method. It is one of the two methods provided by Microsoft for Office 365 users. However, before using this method, it's necessary to make sure that you have been assigned the mailbox import or export role to perform the import process. Also, you have to be a global administrator in your Office 365 organization. So let's move to the process. Step 1. The first step in drive shipping method is to download the secure storage key. So visit this link and sign in with your Office 365 administrator account. Here, go to Security and Compliance Center in the left pane and expand Data Governance and click Import. Now, the Import page. Select New Import Job. Now, type the name for PST Import Job and click Next. Make sure you use lowercase letters for the name. On the Choose Import Job Type page, select Ship Hard Drives to one of our physical locations and click Next. Now, the Import Data page will appear on the screen. Select the option, Copy the Secure Storage Key. Save this secure storage key in a text file so that it can be used later. Now, download the Azure Import or Export tool. The tool will be saved with the name, WA Import Export TXE. After performing both these steps, click Cancel to close the window. Step 2. Now, you will have to copy your PST files to hard drive with the help of WA Import Export TXE tool. To copy the PST files to the hard drive, you will have to use the following command. Running this command will copy the PST files to hard drive. Step 3. The next step in drive shipping method is to create a mapping file for PST import. Because Microsoft Import Service will use the information from this CSV file. To ease your process, you can download a copy of CSV file from this link. Now, edit this file according to your PST mailboxes with the help of Microsoft Excel or Notepad. Step 4. After creating a mapping file, you will have to create a PST import job in the import service in Office 365. Here, you will have to submit the PST import file that you created earlier. To do that, follow the same steps as mentioned in Step 1. When you reach the import data page, select, I have prepared my hard drives and have access to the necessary drive journal files checkbox. Also, check I have access to the mapping file checkbox, and then click Next. The Select the Drive File page will appear on the screen. Click Select Drive File, and upload the file that you have created in Step 2, and then click Validate to check the drive file for any errors. After validating the journal file, click Next. In the open window, click Select Mapping File to upload the PST import mapping CSV file that you have created in Step 3. Once the CSV file name appears on the screen, click Validate to check CSV file for any errors. After validating the CSV file, click Next. The Provide Contact Information page will pop up on the screen. Provide the required information on it. Make sure you copy the Office 365 Data Center location, or you will have to ship your drive. Read the terms and conditions for drive shipping, click the checkbox, and then click Save to submit the import job. Now, there will pop up the status page displaying the next steps of the drive shipping process. Now, go back to the import page and click refresh to see the new drive shipping import job. Step 5. After creating an import job and mapping file, you will have to ship the hard drive to Microsoft with the tracking number of the shipment and return shipment information for the drive shipping job. After receiving the drive, Microsoft Data Center will take around 7 to 10 days to upload the PST files to the Azure storage area. Once you ship the hard drive to Microsoft, go to the Import Job Service page and provide the following information. Delivery carrier name that you use to ship the hard drive, tracking number for the hard drive shipment, return carrier account number. Save this information on the Import Job page and then click Refresh to update this page. Step 6. After receiving the hard drive, Microsoft will change the status of import job to drives received. The information in the journal file will be used by the Microsoft Data Center to upload your PST files to Azure Storage Area. After that, the import job status will change to Import in Progress. 
Once the PST files are uploaded to Azure, the status will change to analysis in progress, which means Office 365 is analyzing the data in the PST files to verify the item's date and message types included in the PST files. When the analysis is over and the data becomes ready to import, the import job status will change to analysis completed. Now you have two options, either import all the data contained in the PST files or trim the data with the filters. Go to the import page in Office 365 and click ready to import to Office 365 for the job that you created in step 4 and then click import to Office 365. The filter page of Office 365 will appear on the screen that will contain some insights about the data. Here, choose whether you want to filter the data or not based on your requirements. If you are going to import all the data, then select No, I want to import everything option and click Next. In the next step, click Import Data to start the import job. The status of the job will display on the import page. Click Refresh to update the status information that's displayed in the status column. When the import process is complete, and PST files have been imported to user mailboxes, the status will change to completed. Drive shipping is one of the most complicated for importing PST files to Office 365. But, if you want to ease the process of importing PST to Office 365, then you can check out Kernel Import PST to Office 365 software by visiting this link. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.